The world of social media is a crowded marketplace. How do you stand above the crowd? Most importantly, how do you make money? In this installment of The Biz Plan, we speak with famed blogger Tay Hansberry as she explains how she turns her blogging into a business. Name your price in the beginning. If it ever gets more expensive than the price you name, get out of it. Everything doesn't have to have like an in rhyme or reason of on a financial basis. I think that's been one of the secrets to my success. What happens most of the time, people change. People change around you because they start treating you different because of your success. As you climb those career ladders, just remember to reach down and pull others up behind you. I started off as a photographer, which led me to blogging because I wanted to create my own platform. And for some reason, it just started gearing itself more towards fashion. I would go shopping and I'd take photos of the clothes in the store. I'd go eat and I'd you know, do a quick shot of the food I was eating. And I started posting about that stuff. And then it kind of just morphed and turned into its own thing. And it became more about fashion. It became more of a business for me. Creating that platform for myself, for my photography, as I said, morphed into fashion and a kind of a more personal fashion blog, which kind of turned into reviewing restaurants and beauty tips. And my blog has led me into directions that I have been trying, I've been trying to break down doors of hosting and acting and, and that type of stuff for years. And within three years of having a blog, a lot of those doors, I've had meetings with vice presidents of huge networks because of my blog. It wasn't until then that I started to really understand where it could take me. And I think anyone can start a fashion blog. Anyone, anyone with access to a computer, internet, and an iPhone can start a fashion blog. But the thing that has kept me kind of in the game of fashion blogging is consistency. If I send an email to someone and I don't hear back, I circle back on that email a week later. Hey, I'm just circling back. Wanted to see if, you know, you got my email or what you thought about it. I don't hear back from them again. I circle back two weeks later. Hey, just checking to see if you, and eventually <laughs> you will bother them enough that they will get back to you. And you may forge an amazing relationship. It's like with, again, with any business, you have to put yourself out there and you have to be willing to put yourself out there. You can't be afraid of rejection with this business because it is a business. So I remember the time where I was getting, oh God, I gotta get 100, okay, my next goal is to get 200 hits a month. My next goal is to get 1,000. My next goal is to get 10,000. So it kinda, you kinda have to really stick to it and be consistent and not get discouraged when you're not exactly getting what you think you should be getting out of it. You know, people are like, oh, I just wanna get free stuff, you know? I wanna get free stuff and I wanna blog about it. But at the same time, if you get something sent to you and you agree to post about that, you, it's, it's like a deadline, it's like a newspaper deadline. You have, to, you have to post about it, you have to write about it, you have to photograph it, you have to make it look good, you have to really step up your game when it comes to, it's, it's editorial. You have to really stay true to yourself and what you started out doing for your blog because you're a brand. You are your brand and if you waver from your brand, then your audience is going to waver on to the next blogger who's true to themselves. But you can't, you can't say, well, if I, don't, if I don't reach this by a year from now, I'm just gonna stop doing this because it's right on the other side of that year is where your success happens with anything in life, but especially with blogging. You never know, you know, what Maggie's, magazine's gonna say, I wanna feature you, or what, you know, other bloggers gonna be like, let's do a collaboration, or what companies like, we want you to do a video for $10,000 for, you know, this hair care product. And it might not be any, have anything to do with how much readership you have, it might be just be like, they really like you and they want you to do that. And that's kind of, kind of what started me in, in terms of like the business aspect of my blog. I, I definitely don't and didn't at the time have as much readership as a lot of other bloggers, but I was getting opportunities that they were getting because my work was consistent, it looks good, you know, they know I'm gonna post on time, they know I'm gonna meet the deadline, you know, 
pretty much everything that comes with having a business, you have to do with your blog. Creating your own platform, as we know with like YouTube channels and all these types of things, it, it takes you where you wanna go. I think you're always meant to go where you're supposed to go, but you just might not go in the, the path you think you're gonna get there. Collaborate with your friends, collaborate with other bloggers, and then as you go along, reach out to brands, collaborate for free, just to kind of prove yourself. And then eventually, the payment side or the reward side will come. But always, always treat your blog as a business, whether you're getting paid or not. I'm Tay Hansberry, and this is my biz plan.